The thought that I had this morning was that because of the Spirit of God that's in us, this is mostly to the believers, because the Spirit of God, when we ask Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior of our life, the Spirit of God comes and lives in us. And that Spirit gives us life. One day we will be raised to life just like Christ was. No matter what happens to this body of ours, praise God, we know that we have the victory ahead. All this is is old wardrobe. One day God has new wardrobe for us. And I am just going to read through these scriptures. I'm going to let the word of God be what ministers to us this morning. 1 Thessalonians 5. But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, as labor pains upon a pregnant woman. And they shall not escape. But you, praise God, but you, brethren, that's us, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and truly made them, made him Lord of their life. It says, but to you, brethren, you are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. That word sober there is self-controlled. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, again, self-controlled, putting on, excuse me, putting on the breastplate of faith and love as a helmet and the hope of salvation. We keep right here in our heart faith and love toward the Lord, toward one another, and that helmet of the hope of salvation. You know, the people's minds cause them to do things that are so wrong. People fear and they get sick because of fear. It affects your whole body. Well, as believers in Christ, we put on that helmet of salvation, knowing that in Christ we have salvation. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. There is no one greater than our God, and no one loves us more than our God Almighty. God the Father says, But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on it the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. We have a hope that one day we will live together with the Lord God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, who is preparing a place for you and for me. It says in verse 11, and this is what I had last night. I just, I kept thinking in the middle of the night of 1 Thessalonians 5.11. And this is what it says. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another, just as you also are doing. We are to remind one another, to edify one another, to speak to one another of the goodness of God, to remind one another when things get rough, this is just a temporary state. God is preparing wonderful things for us in eternity. All the blessings that God has are not here on this earth. He blesses us here, yes. But what he really has for us, he is preparing in glory for us. And one day we will enjoy those blessings in a place where there is no fear, there is no tears, there is no sickness, no disease we will rejoice forevermore with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, the wonders that we will see. Oh, I was going to read 1 Peter 3, but we're not going to have time. Um, 1 Peter 3, 18 says, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. That's you and me. He who believes in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. 
being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. As Jesus rose from the dead, one day we will also raised from the dead. If we are alive when he comes, well, praise God, this body will stay behind. I don't know how he's going to do it, but our spirit will go to glory with the Lord. And whoa, what a day of rejoicing that will be, like the old song says. Romans 8, 9 says, But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he's not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. This old flesh can't stand before a holy God. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. Whose righteousness is that? That's the righteousness of Christ that has been imputed to us. Christ won the victory for us on Calvary. It says, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give you life, will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Verse 14 says, for as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear. You see, we don't have the spirit of fear in us anymore. We have the spirit of Almighty God, all powerful God living within us. We have to submit to the Holy Spirit. Let Him speak to our hearts. Let Him teach us and guide us, correct us. It says, for you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. And I guess that's the last part. I think I left a page out. But because of that, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. One day, we will be glorified with our Lord. It doesn't matter whether things are going good or bad down here. One day, things will be made right. And because of that, you can keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. As it says in Philippians 4, think on the good things. Think on the goodness of God, how much He moves you. This space here is such a little time. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Thank you for tuning in.